hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got Shout out to all the subscribers out there. I really don't even got no intro or nothing like this. I'm gonna talk about this scenario. <sighs> this Miss Hustle and Mike P. <laughs> Before I do, I wanna give a disclaimer, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know when we get to these dealings, people be getting into their feelings. But you know, I have to say, I have to call it like I call it so I can't spoil it. Cause I see the talk online. I see people going back and forth, taking both sides. But I only speak on the facts, the things that end up on the internet, the stuff that people are talking about. I'm not going to ever sit up here and just embellish a story. Man, fuck all that. Let's just get right to it. Uh, the following is a program, which is a collection of a bunch of shit talking by a bunch of individuals in the battle rap world. This is meant to be comedic relief. And the opinions and the thoughts and views that are expressed in these things are not the opinions of myself, Showtime SP, or any of our partners. Uh, there may be some cuss words involved because these are real humans talking about real life shit. So if you are not mature and capable enough to handle what's going on, I suggest you change the channel. All right, Mike P. All right, so Mike P left URL, ceremoniously went to the trenches. Now he's doing his own thing. He has a battle on blackout. You know, in order to be the man, I'm all cool with you taking your career in your own hands. I have no issue with that. You know what I'm saying? So I got nothing, no, I got no qualms in there. Do what you gotta do. People always say, what league, what league do you work? I don't work for no league, I work for my kids. So that's first and foremost. So I ain't knocking it. Get paid, get paid. If you can't get paid in the earth this big, you worthless kid, you don't even deserve to live. That's Cameron losing weight with Prodigy, rest in peace. Go check that record out. Um. So what happens is, you know, he goes on doing his own thing and now the people that used to be cool with you, they used to be on the side with you, now nah, they look at you as a op. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. Once you go battle on different leagues and once you start doing different things and all of that, you get considered an op. I hate the term op in battle rap because at the end of the day where I'm from, an op is a nigga that will shoot you on a Sunday when you got your son with you. An op is somebody that's looking to kill you. This battle rap shit, two black businesses or black or other businesses competing with each other to try to have battle rap events, that's just not no op to me. That's why I go to RBE, I'm gonna go to Chrome and any other league. The phone works. We accepting calls. So if you don't see me somewhere, you don't see me on a league, you don't see me, they didn't call. I'm not calling none of these niggas. So let's get to it. Um, so Miss Hustle, you know, she has a way of going about doing things. She was talking about Mike P's wife and his family and all this other stuff yesterday. And Mike P had made a statement. It's a pretty long statement. I'll go ahead and read it because, you know, if you press play, you hear. You know what I'm saying? You press, you press, They pay again, you press play again. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly how it works. So Mike P said... I'm tired of my family being attacked outside of the stage only for them to get criticized for responding. I get this is Twitter, but would any of y'all walk up to a man and sh on his wife and kids? No, because it's absolutely trash and you have no idea what a man would do to you in that scenario. It's simple. Pop battle-ish to me. Call me whatever you want. The second you involve the people closest to me, you're going to get a response back with the same energy. And then, I, and even then, I still won't reach the levels some people, some find comfortable reaching. You know what I'm saying? He says, the fact that Hustle made disgusting tweets about my fiance 30 times and then challenged me to a fist fight because I said, Giannis 9-0 is ridiculous. I'm not putting hands on a woman. If you really want to settle it, meet me in the ring. I would gladly smoke the fuck out of you anywhere. Right, it just hit me up. Tell her strap up in December. Anything other than that is childish, not worth my time. I didn't even like the blog I just did. It's not me, but it's easy to take me out of my character when your words affect my household. Say it in your raps. Anything outside of that is just 
weird. So Mike P did make a blog yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I didn't see it, but I heard about it. And I think it's on OTFMZ, so I'm gonna scroll past there right quick. So we'll, uh, I'll get some dialogue and context as to what he was talking about. So uh, Mike P goes in on Miss Hustle. How many battle rappers have you effed? Let's see, what is he talking about? Drum roll of all, shout out to my man Young Eek. Let's get to the meat and taters, Hustle. You're talking about my fiance and anyone that she might have been, and yours is true. Mike Wilder. Leave me alone. Leave Mike. me alone. Mike, hi. Okay? Uh, Mike. I had you losing a rap battle. You should have kept it there. Mm -hmm. Clown. Right. Jesus Christ, so many fucking clowns in this culture. It's crazy. Mm. It's absolutely crazy. Mm. Crazy. Go on your stupid fucking rants. Continue it. Nobody cares. Mm. Nobody cares. Even the fact that you're such a fucking snake. You, you interrupted me talking to Easy to Block Captain mm. to disrespect me and get Easy over to you. And then a year passes by and you go on a fucking private investigator journey to try to ruin his career mm. over fucking bullshit and rumors and, and things that you know nothing about. Mm. You fucking, you fucking, you fucking catapult it out the window just to get some clout but that's all you care about mm. that's all you fucking do that's all you do you're a clout chasing clown mm. the fuck out of here yo what the fuck like bro and here's the truth all right all right all right mike 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 time 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 so i'm looking like that's why i'm asking you like why you why you why you going into jack because like, you know jack because listen i, I just explained this to you i could mm -hmm. sit here and show proof and plead my case and do all this and they're still going to find a reason why i don't write my bars so why not give them what they want he got away with it but he ain't get away with it makes perfect sense i'm not gonna waste my breath yo look i write my bars look at this this was this date like i'm not doing that i'm sorry i'm not doing that no nah, i mean don't get me wrong you are right you are right you could you could send me something it could be a oh, simple yeah, I sentence i, I could copy it put it into my notes and then i got the notes exactly and that's and, and that's my thing right that's my thing that's not gonna that's not gonna debunk that i don't have a writer because uh, everything that this person supposedly sent me i could just copy boy ain't no fucking way boy boy ain't no way boy boy ain't no way boy Hello, please get out of here get out of here man Shit, you know i'm saying get so mike p's going crazy on hustle yesterday talking about uh you know Stuff with her, whatever the case may be. Hustle's going in on him. Then Mike P comes out today with a bomb. He says, Miss Hustle versus Verb, who do y'all have winning? Hustle, yeah. You gonna have to scratch that. What about coffee? Anyone have her beating her? See these pics right here. This is what you call actual screenshots. No Photoshop, no altering. These are real screenshots of the men that wrote all of your material. See, I'm not messy when I decide to go back and forth with someone. I'm calculated and you'd be surprised what people want to show and tell me when you violate family. Salute Vin Diesel. Here's the attention you ordered. And these are screenshots of her rounds versus... She said it looks like it's coming from... See a picture of Miss Hustle up here, and it's a bunch of bars that was sent to someone that I, it says uh, Ebony Randolph, it says good morning, they sent you a bunch of rhymes, you dirty, disgusting, loose, pussy, bum, bitch, smack, don't fucking need, you, need her, disloyal snake B, you fake crip, and your son don't take care of that little effer neither. Who wrote this? Who wrote, see the thing is, there's a benefit of the doubt, then the benefit of the doubt runs out. 
Miss Hustle was writing. Well, Miss Hustle was with Kid Chaos. They was. I mean, who was it? She happens. My bad. She Kid Chaos. Hello to you. She happens. She fucking happens. And they niggas was in. The, they rehearsed their shit. Fucking cats on Broadway rehearsed their material. These niggas are spitting their bars to each other before the battle. That shit was the nastiest work ever. And nobody really recapped it. If they did, they only talked about the fact that niggas was rehearsing their material. Rehearse battles is cats on Broadway. Nobody cares about that. Now, this ghostwriting shit, this is crazy. Because the thing is, it's not the first time we heard this rumors about females. And this is what makes female battle rap be taking steps back. Because they're getting accused, having writers, bars coming out. Now, she's going to say it wasn't her. I get it. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, <laughs> the logic of someone writing your whole round and sending it to someone. That's just wild. But... You know, it is what it is, but this is nasty work in the community. It's nasty work in battle rap. I don't want to hear about no emotions. I don't want to hear how nobody feel because I really don't give a fuck. Seeing somebody's bars being sent to someone and they replying or whatever the case may be or potentially replying looks crazy. It does. It looks wild. Like, why are we still doing these things? Why are people still having writers? I really don't care what the reason is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I do not care. If I was taking two battles and I needed some help with one and he just was looking over my material, no, nah, they be doing that shit. That's the excuse. They be like, oh, I sent them my material. They looked over it and sent it back. We don't give a fuck. Because what happened is when Yoshi was involved with allegedly having that shit, niggas was on her ass. Every single person, when they get accused of these writers or niggas writing bars for them, bro, we watch battle rap for the opponents to battle and go against each other. Not for this one, they be getting a bunch of shit wrote from someone else and they up there rapping some material someone else did. For all of that, I could be a battle rapper. I could just pay a nigga 25% of what I make or 15 or 30, whatever the case may be. They write all my raps for them. I remember them and go battle somebody. I can rap. I know how to rap. Check the movie. Mascot, Max out. I did, you know what I'm saying? I do know how to. So you mean to tell me a nigga could write my shit for me, I could stand up and just battle niggas? No, absolutely not. I wouldn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So now... You gotta go back and look at these battles. Like, yo, if a nigga really had ghost written material for them, those are losses. Those are not wins. I'm sorry, those are not wins. And she beat the fuck out of Verb. But with Mike P coming out and saying that your shit was ghost written, and the thing is, if Hustle has evidence that it wasn't, that's one thing. But just telling people that, nah, this is not, this ain't, this ain't that, this ain't, no, no. We ain't, we ain't going for that shit. We not going for, I done fucked up my camera fucking with y'all. We ain't going for that shit. I'm sorry. It is not going to happen. Not in 2023. We don't, we do not need nobody getting no fucking material ghostwritten from them in no damn battle rap. I'm sorry. Absolutely not.